Hi again everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another speed build video in The Sims 4. Happy Sunday, I hope you're all having the most amazing day ever so far and thank you so much for joining me here today. We are in San Myshuno today and we are renovating the 2B Jasmine Suites apartment block and we are turning this into a fun family apartment with three bedrooms and one big family bathroom. I cannot wait to show you this, it's been so long since I've done an apartment on the channel. I had a very quick look this morning and I think it's been it's been at least seven or eight months since I've done an apartment or posted an apartment so it's, this was really refreshing for me and I needed to put something up today that was relatively quick to put together and so I thought it's been a while since I've done an apartment so why not do this so we are currently working on the kitchen area here and I absolutely love the items and the colour schemes and the swatches that I decided to go for with this apartment. I, I didn't want it to be too matchy matchy, I didn't want it to be stylish or anything like that, I just wanted it to be really homey and family friendly and you'll have to let me know if we achieved that with this. I think we did. This is kind of what I used to build, I, I say like back in the day, <laughs> like before I started my YouTube channel, this is definitely was more my interior sort of style and it was really nice to revisit that with this apartment because obviously with it being more geared towards like a larger family who don't like not necessarily they don't care where they live but they do they take pride in where they live you know it's not messy or anything like that or it's not too messy <laughs> but it's not exactly their main priority they're not particularly like a stylish family and they don't really care about interior design or anything like that so it was really refreshing for me to be able to revisit this sort of interior style I suppose you could say it's just got this really warm family family friendly vibe excuse me <laughs> And I had a lot of fun designing this apartment. So you'll just see me here. I'll, I'll, I'll start working on the living room and then I'll sort of start pulling items out and adding clutter here and there because if you are not aware, we have just received two kits from The Sims 4. We have the, I always forget the names. Is it the Pastel Pop? and the everyday clutter. I did a review video on the channel a few days ago. I'll put a link in the right hand corner for you if I haven't seen that already. If you're not really sure if you want to buy the kits then I go through all the items and sort of explain my thoughts so if you are on the fence then that's a good video to watch but I do use some of the items in this apartment renovation because again I wanted to get across this like cluttered family-esque sort of vibe and we got some fantastic items with both kits so I decided to utilize some of them in this apartment and I also used these two sofas from the high school years pack I well they're not sofas they're, they're more love seats because they, they can only fit two sims on them but these are my favorite love seats that we have in game I've used them quite a few times since high school years was released and this mint green swatch is an absolute favorite of mine any opportunity I get to use this swatch uh, I, I, I absolutely take it because I just love it so much and I just thought it worked really well in this apartment here and I was I was initially going to put a dining room table in front of this window here and then I end up coming away from that and I put like a hallway table with just like a plant and like a notepad and some pens next to it which I thought worked really well if you wanted to add a dining room table, then you absolutely can do that. That's not a problem. I just thought it worked a bit better in this way because I envisioned four sims in this apartment. So you could remove that single chair if you wanted to and add a dining room table there. But I thought because we've got bar stools in the kitchen, I didn't really think it mattered too much. Uh, so yes, just adding some clutter as I was saying and trying to make things really vibrant and colourful and lively and adding, as I was saying, just clutter anywhere and everywhere I could. I, I did not restrict myself with packs, I'm going to make that disclaimer right now because I've recently done some base game builds. I'll put a card in the right hand corner for you now so you can have a look at my base game builds and I will have one, another base game build coming up quite shortly as part of a collaboration but I'm not going to tell you too much about that because it's not actually been announced as of yet but yes I, I've done a few of them so I didn't restrict myself with packs for this apartment because sometimes it's just really nice to see where your mind and your creativity takes you rather than restricting yourself although I like restricting myself every now and again it's, it's still nice to sort of just use whatever items you want so uh, I just thought I'd put that disclaimer out because it's not pack restricted I, I used a wide variety of packs and kits and and all sorts so the, there's uh, there's a lot that went into this <laughs> but just finishing up the living room here I again just adding some items to the wall I kept things really bright and cheerful as well I wanted to get across that this was just a really happy 
place to be and I, I would love to have a family live in this apartment it's it's difficult to make apartments I think look like homey and comfortable I think um so when I do end up doing it and I end up uh, like doing it well I give myself a bit of a pat on the back because I think apartments can tend to look quite like clinical and just kind of I don't know like washed out and a bit drab but I I really liked how this worked out and yeah I, I really hope that you guys have some sort of use for this apartment but now we do move on to the first bedroom here which is for a single child sim I envisioned uh, the other child's bedroom is again for a child I was initially going to do a toddler and then I just wasn't feeling it so if you need to change up anything then please feel free if you have if you have a family with twins this works perfectly and if you have like I think it would work for two teens as well or even a child and a teen as well it just depends on the dynamic of the family that you have but anyway it doesn't matter <laughs> so I love the color scheme that we went for in here it's like slightly darker with sort of blue tones and I don't stick too close to the color scheme but I also make sure that I keep blue at the core of everything that I was doing just to tie everything in together and I loved using some of these clutter items from the everyday clutter kit in the kids rooms because I didn't realize how much they would work in a kids room I was thinking more like okay well we can put this in the living room and maybe on a bedside table in a main bedroom but I didn't really think oh yeah that would work in a kids room but I, I did find myself using a lot of the items from that pack in the kids rooms so that was really nice to be able to do that and adding some clutter to the floor just to make it look lived in and kids are not the tidiest of humans <laughs> some kids are but most kids uh, aren't so I wanted to try and get that across in the kids rooms and with it being a family friendly apartment I don't think mum and dad mind too much at all or the parents it depends again on the dynamic of the family that you move in here I don't think they really mind uh, you know it, it's not like they're out of control with the mess there's 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 a lot of happiness in this apartment and yes I, I just wanted to try and get that across in the decor but I love this bookshelf from the high school years pack I find myself using this quite a lot in kids rooms specifically and I just think it works really really well and I'm just realizing that I don't think I added a dresser <laughs> in this kids room <laughs> which is really unusual for me I normally add dresses but there isn't one in here so you might want to swap out that bookshelf because there's two bookshelves in here randomly and then not a dresser <laughs> I think when I was doing it I was thinking that that high school years one was a dresser but it's not I think it acts as a bookshelf so I do apologize that, that's not the that's not the best thing to do but I think kids can can they get changed using the mirror or like sims in general I, I don't know I, I don't know how that works I, um you might you might have to do some rejigging around in there <laughs> that was a mistake uh anyway now we move on to the second of the three bedrooms this one has a slightly different color scheme as you can see it's a little bit brighter and it's just like more orangey and greeny and turquoisey themed which i really like i've i've done this color scheme before but not necessarily using the same items but because this was a smaller room i wanted it to be a little bit brighter than the other one to make to give that appearance that it was slightly larger <laughs> and not as small as the other one the problem with this apartment block is the window placement so i had to be careful where i was placing the interior walls which is why this <laughs> this room's slightly smaller than the other one in a perfect world they'd be the same size unfortunately that's not how it works in real life or in the sims so it adds a bit of realism i think to the <laughs> to the game i don't think the kids mind that one of them has a slightly bigger room i think it's like is it two tiles longer or a tile longer i really don't think it makes that much difference but i still put a lot of care and effort into each room each room is filled with clutter and this has a dresser <laughs> so <laughs> i think this sim came out better than the other one to be honest but <laughs> anyway uh, just finishing up this room it didn't take me long to pull this room together at all I think when I was looking at the footage it took me around seven minutes or so to put this room together so I didn't think that was bad actually considering I'm the most indecisive person in the world and I like to add clutter just everywhere so <laughs> and I don't think I talk about this enough the clutter that on the floor that you can see next to the bed there that came with the high school years pack I love that so much I think that's fantastic anyway now we move on to the main bedroom this for me is not as bright and cheerful as i would have liked to have it unfortunately main bedrooms and i it's probably my least favorite room to decorate in builds 
Uh, so I, I don't think I give them the care and attention that I give the other rooms in the, <laughs> in this case, apartment, but or in my builds in general. So this isn't quite as cheerful as I wanted it to be, or as bright. So it's it's still it's nice, it's functional, it it does the job. It's just not particularly inspiring. Is probably how I would describe it. But it's all right if you want to if you want to brighten it up. Then do you do you do not you do what you need to do. You know that you can do anything to my builds to make them more um, suitable for you and your Sims. But yeah, it's uh, it's not the most inspiring room that I've ever done. So. <laughs> I do apologize, I'm really, really sorry, but it, maybe I was just getting sick. I, I don't know, I really don't know what happened, but it doesn't matter because it's that's over and now we move on to the main bathroom. <laughs> and we're, we're almost at the end of the video anyway, so uh, we can start wrapping up. But the, the apartment is available on the gallery right now. My origin ID is Rachel Ped. Tray files will be listed down below. You can get them for free from Sim File Share. But thank you so much everyone for joining me here today. You all take care and I will see you next time I post a video. Bye.